Hello, you are welcome to the news in brief on Graphic Online. In the headlines, President Ekufuadu elaborates security concerns of youth unemployment in West Africa. Wayak releases 2021 WASI results. Police arrest in Shiaesu MP Stephen Amwa for road traffic indiscipline. Justice for Ghana convenience protest against 2022 budget. Government launches initiative to support small scale miners. And former presidential aspirant Amwafu Yeboa urges businessmen to take interest in politics. And now the news in brief. President Ekufuadu today addressed the second Kofi Annan Peace and Security Forum in Accra. And speaking at the forum, President Ekufuadu said the structural transformation of economies in West Africa from raw material exporters to value addition industrialized one to create more jobs for the teeming youth is surely the ultimate deterrent to threat of violent extremism. The structural transformation of our economies from raw material producing and exporting ones into value adding industrialized economies, which will in turn spur on rapid economic growth and thereby generate jobs for young people is the ultimate deterrent to the threats of terrorism and violent extremism. We must work hard to achieve this goal forthwith. At the same forum, which attracted former presidents across the globe, including J.A. Kufour of Ghana, Johnson Sirleaf of Liberia, and other security and peace experts, President Ekufuadu reiterated his pledge to abide by the constitution of Ghana and respect the two-term limits for presidents. President of the Republic of Ghana and current chair of the authority of ECOWAS states and governments, I pledge to continue to respect the tenets of the ECOWAS protocol on democracy and good governance, and specifically the following. I'll not make or cause to be made any substantial modification to the electoral laws in the last six months before the next election. I'll respect the two-term limit for the exercise of presidential authority as stipulated in the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. I will not be an impediment to the conduct of free and fair, transparent elections. I'll hand over power to the next elected president on 7th January 2025. And I will rally my fellow ECOWAS heads of state to take the pledge and support them as they continue to work towards democracy and good governance in their respective countries. The West African Examinations Council has released the provisional results of candidates who sat for the 2021 West African Senior School Certificate Examination for school candidates in Ghana. It is the result for the first batch of beneficiaries from the Free SHS Initiative started four years ago. Wayek in a press statement said it will make available login details to heads of schools to enable the candidate to print the statement of their results. A total of 1,339 subject results and 174 entire results of some students have been cancelled. Wayek explains that the results have been cancelled for various examination or practices such as bringing foreign materials, including mobile phones, into the examination hall, tearing of parts of question papers and collusion. As part of efforts to ensure driver discipline on the roads, especially with how many drivers of Toyota Land Cruiser VAs behave on the road, the police embarked on an operation on Tuesday. Among those arrested according to the police for flouting road traffic regulations was the Member of Parliament for Nshiaeso, Dr. Stephen Amwa. Dr. Amwa was busted during a police operation around the airport's bypass to arrest drivers of V8 vehicles who were not complying with road traffic regulations. During the exercise, some V8 drivers, including Dr. Amwa, were arrested for offences of careless driving, dangerous driving and causing road obstruction, among others. Six other drivers were also arrested as part of the operation which lasted between 4 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. Members of a pressure group, Justice for Ghana, today picketed in front of Parliament House to protest against the government's 2022 budget. The protesters want the government to withdraw the 2022 budget 
which they say is not in the interest of Ghanaians. The protesters clad in red and holding placards began their protest at the Fasadaland Park and marched to the Parliament House to present their petition. They had planned to picket at Parliament House until their demands were met. However, upon reaching the entrance of Parliament, they were denied access by the police. The police said they had obtained an injunction from the Accra High Court to restrain the group from occupying Parliament and its surroundings. The convener of the group, Bernard Mona, had this to say. You are aware the police heavily descended on us. They don't want us to enter Parliament. We don't have um, water cannons. We don't have cordials. We don't have guns. They have everything. They have come here. And so when we realized that they wanted to exhibit violence, we simply moved and retreated from them to come and take a peaceful relaxation. That one too is a problem. Let us be here. We are fine. That restraining order they took was for us to start the demonstration at Guam and Chroma Circle. Where did we start the demonstration from? The police came to Efua Sutherland Park. What it means is that they, they either were forced into taking this without necessarily even thinking that we had reached a rapprochement with them to start the demonstration from Efua Sutherland Park. Come to take my match from me. Fellow Ghanaians, are you ready to sing the national anthem? Police officers are also coming. Sir, sir, you are wasting my time. You are wasting the next time, time and let's go inside and proceed. Time is not our side, sir. The pillow is not a weapon. My mother, my mother is not a weapon. It's not. Why is this? This is not a weapon. Why? Away from Parliament, the government is facilitating the establishment of a mining development unit at the Agricultural Development Bank to support small-scale miners with the capital they require for operation. This is to prevent small-scale miners from conniving with foreigners to engage in illegal mining. Speaking at a Meet the Press series today, the Deputy Minister of Lands and Natural Resources in charge of mining, Mr. George Miruku Duka, observed that the lack of credit facilities for small-scale miners to purchase equipment for the operation was the driving force behind foreigners' involvement in illegal small-scale mining. We've uh, negotiated with one of our prominent banks in this country, uh, ADB for that matter, uh, to commission minerals development unit that will seek to address the challenges in terms of the physical challenges that the small scale miners face. And we believe that will bridge that gap and move away with the uh, invasion of foreign nationals in the small scale mining sector and on the 20th of this month the vice president of the republic of ghana will unveil that unit the minerals development unit going forward we intend to establish the minerals development bank that will address specifically the needs of miners as adb has been addressing the needs of farmers in our final story a former independent presidential aspirant and businessman Kwesia Mwafu Yeboa is urging Ghanaian businessmen to get involved in politics to help develop the nation for the next generation. According to him, every Ghanaian must be involved to safeguard national resources and develop the nation. Mr. Mwafu Yeboa was speaking to the Daily Graphic on the sidelines of a business entrepreneurship seminar. He said the government must also solicit ideas and build consensus over the introduction of the electronic transactions levy outlined in the 2022 budget statement. He expressed worry on the effect the levy will have on businesses and the effort to digitalize the economy. They say that politics is a dirty business, but if it's a dirty business, it means only dirty people will go in it. So if you take that attitude, why would you allow dirty people to be the ones controlling your, your life and your future. You know, everybody must get involved. It's, it's your country, it's you, you know, it's, um, um, we need to, to leave something for, for the next generation. You know, we can't, we can't just destroy everything that we have, um, you know, through our own selfish, our own selfish interests, destroy everything that we have. What about the children? What about the grandchildren? What about our race? You know, so I, I encourage everybody to, to get involved at any level, whether it's a local level, national level, it doesn't matter. It's, everybody needs to get involved, speak out, and, um, and express themselves. News in Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus.
Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly, and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again with another edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at Graphic GH. I'm Ama Echan Amankwa Befi.